Hey YouTube, hey Instagram, hey Facebook. How are you guys doing? Hope everyone had a wonderful holiday. Um, let's see. Well, YouTube, I already got them Ooh, looking down. <laughs> Let me try that angle until I start counting. So um, last week, y'all know I counted my, um, my seven days a week challenge and I counted my um, $5 savings challenge. As you all know, oh, can I make this here? I'm picking up. That's not um, my $5 savings challenge. So what I'm... Oh, <laughs> Lord, hold on Instagram. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, it don't pop out the um the phone holder. Okay, okay. I think I'm back with Instagram. Okay. <laughs> so I counted my um my five dollar savings challenge last week, and I saved um seven hundred and. Was it $705 or $715? Something like that. And, um, I mean, it's still good. I didn't do as good as I did last year. Last year, I think I saved, um, like $1,200 or $1,400 in fives. So, I just didn't, um, use cash as much, um, this year. And didn't get a lot of cash back this year like I did last year. But like I said last week, any savings that you can save is always good. It's never a fail when you save. So I was happy with it. And then I did my seven days a week challenge, which added up to $1,456. So I was happy with that. Um, <clears throat> so I am going to count my... I thought I had a piece of paper in here that I can write this stuff. To, oh, I'll use this. Oh, yeah, I'll use this. So I'm going to count my 100 cash envelope savings challenge. That's right. Come on, savings. I see my YouTube buddies. Come on, savings. Let's see. Look, let's see if I did better than what I did um, last year. Y'all know I messed, up, <laughs> I messed up my count last year because I messed up my count on two envelopes. I don't know what in the world I did. But for some reason, um, I was short two envelopes, like by about $20 for each envelope, I think. So I think it was, um, so the 100 cash envelope challenge, you're supposed to have saved $5,050 by the end of the challenge. So for those of you who don't know what the challenge is, let me explain the challenge to you real quick. So you take, let me take all my envelopes out of here. <clears throat> so you take 100 envelopes and you number them one through 100. Can I see that? There you go. One through 100. And then you just um, randomly put them in a box or a bag, or whatever, and you select two envelopes every week and you put that amount of money in there to save. But since I am, as, as many of you know, um, my YouTube buddies, <laughs> as many of you know, I do a paycheck to paycheck budget and my budget is based bi-weekly. My budget is based every two, um, every two weeks. So since you're supposed to do two envelopes per week, I do four envelopes every time I get paid, every two weeks. So like for instance, um, what I do... So also what I do is I don't put the money in each envelope because I feel like it'll be too stuffed. I feel like it'll be too fat. <laughs> it'll be just stuffed. Each envelope would just be stuffed and I might not be able to fit it in my box. So what I do since it's, um, since it's a little more than every two weeks, it's four weeks. What I do is I select my four envelopes. So for instance, I have this stack. So this is $93, this is $59, this one is $74, and then this one is $38. So when I add all of that up, it comes out to be um, $264. 
And so since I do a paycheck to paycheck budget, when I'm um, getting my money ready, so here's a, here's a little sample of when I get my money ready for my cash envelopes and my sinking funds. So I take the amount of money, so I add it up to 264, and I put that amount of money in my budget for the money that I need to get out the bank to put in my envelopes. So instead of putting money in each envelope, what I do, like I said, this is me, what I do is I total it all up, I put the four envelopes together, and I put the total on the back, of, on the last envelope, on the back. And I just put the whole amount in the last envelope. So this should be $264. And I'm going um, to turn the cameras down in just a second so y'all can see me count the money. I just want to explain to you guys real quick. Um, so I should have $264. Oh, and as y'all know, y'all see me looking back and forth is because I have three cameras going. I have IG Live, Facebook Live, and YouTube Live. <laughs> so I should have $264. So let's count and see if I have that money. So I'm not going to put it down on the table so y'all can see me real quick. So that's 50, 50, 70, 90, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. So I do in fact have $264. Like I said, when I take my money out to um, do my budget, when I go to the bank and I get all my money that I need to stuff my envelopes and stuff my sinking funds, I go ahead and I put that in there. So you should see, let me see, do I have this on? Yep, you'll see up at the top, it'll say 100 cash envelope in seven days a week. And that's what that means when I put that on my list of my expenses for my cash envelopes and my um, sinking funds. So I get the total amount. I have the four envelopes. I put the total on the back of the envelope. I put the money in the last envelope that has a total on it. And I rubber band it together. And then I just drop it in my box. So that's what I do. That's how I do my 100 cash envelope challenge. It works for me. That's how I do it. You can do it your own way. You can still do the saving money every two weeks. You can still put your envelope, your money in each envelope. It's totally up to you. This way works for me. And I like, oh, uh oh, no, I don't want to bring anyone on. Sorry, y'all. Um, this way works for me and I like how it works. So this is good for me. Like I said, you can do it your way. You can put money in each envelope. You can select two envelopes. If you're on a monthly budget, you can select the monthly um, envelopes. That would be what eight envelopes you would have to select if you're on a monthly budget. So it's totally up to you. If you don't want to save for the 100 cash envelope challenge, you can also do the 50 cash envelope challenge and you would just select one envelope per week. So if you think you can handle that a little bit better, then you can go with the 50 cash envelope challenge. So I've already done this one. So y'all know and see that the money is in this envelope. So I am going to start putting it down. So this is 264. All right, y'all. So I'm going to start. I'm going to lower the camera down so y'all can see the money and see me counting the money and see the envelopes that I have. Um, let's see if YouTube can see me pretty good. Yeah, YouTube, I think you can see me pretty good. Um, let's see, Facebook. Let me put you down a little bit. Oh, you know what? Before I point my camera down, I want to show y'all my shirt that my youngest son got from me. His name is um, Sean. Well, that's not his real name. This is his rap name, his, produ his producer name. So his producer name is Sean the Pharaoh. And this was one of my Christmas gifts from him. And on the back, let me see if I can turn to the back. On the back is some um, musical people. He has Nina Simone. Um, oh gosh, who else? Nina Simone, I think Louis Armstrong, um, Billy Holiday, um, Miles Davis. So he has those people on there. Um, 
And I'm sure he would love you guys' support. So if y'all want to support him, go over to his IG page. But let me make sure what his IG page is, child, <laughs> before I say it wrong. I don't know if it's uh, Pharaoh Shine or Shine to Pharaoh. Hold on one second. Let me just check real quick. Come on now. Okay, let me do a search. And y'all know how I support my kids now. Okay, so his IG page is Shine the Pharaoh. So y'all go and follow him. He has some merch. And right now he has some beats for sale. So if y'all are musicians out there or know any musicians out there, he has beats for sale. Um, he also um, does beats for like intros. So if you need a if you need some music for your Facebook intro, I'm not Facebook intro, your YouTube intro, <laughs> he can do music for you for that. Again, it's Shine the Pharaoh. It's S H I N E T H E, and then Pharaoh P H A R O. A H. So, yep, y'all go check him out. Check out his merch. I love my t shirt. Can y'all see it good on Instagram? Let me see if I can pull it back a little bit. I forgot I had already lifted y'all down. Can y'all see it? Shine. It's, and it's a nice expression, too. This is the name of his um, latest album, As the Beauty Becomes. I mean, I'm sorry, As the Beauty Became. <laughs> so it says Shine. As the beauty became that's the name of his like latest um album so yeah y'all go check it out y'all go cop that y'all go um support my baby that's my baby boy all right y'all so let's get to it um i'm gonna lift facebook down and i'm gonna pull ig down so y'all can see the envelopes all right hopefully y'all can see the envelopes pretty good youtube i think y'all good to go let me get a sip of water, child. It is hot in North Carolina. Good Lord. It is hot. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> IG. Lord, I'm sorry, y'all. You know what? Let me move this. <laughs> move that thing. Okay. Now I can put y'all in the corner. Don't nobody put baby in a corner. But baby, you going in the corner today. All right. <laughs> it is hot in North Carolina, y'all. It is... I don't want to cut on my air, but I swear I'm burning up. I got my fan going right now. I got it on medium. But if y'all see me pick up this remote, y'all know it's still getting hot. So let me just take me a little sip of water real quick. It is 74 degrees in my house right now. And I'm trying so hard not to turn on that air, but oh child, I hate being hot. All right. So let's go. So my first envelope was 264. I already put that in the bag. So, okay. So this envelope should be 211. So let's count that baby out. I mean, should I be putting the money back in the envelope or should I just go and take the money out? I think I should just go ahead and take the money out. Let me go ahead and take the money out. Because I don't know why I'm putting it back in the envelope. <laughs> I'm going to have to go put it in the bank tomorrow. Okay. So I'm put that in there. So this should be 211. Let's count this. So 100, 50, 200, 10, 11. I hope everybody can see me. I hope I have all that angle right. All right. Um, let me write that down to 11. Put that in the box. So this envelope, I should have 209. Y'all can see 209. Um, YouTube, do y'all need to be lifted up a little bit more? Are, are, are y'all okay? 200, let's see this. 100. I think Instagram is the one that might have an issue. I don't know why it's so close up. Okay. <laughs> 100. Ooh, 100. 150. 200. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there it is. It's 209. This envelope, oh, I got it right now, 209. This envelope should have 162. I don't know why I'm putting all these little bands on my wrist. My not gonna be full of little bands, child. I hope y'all had a great holiday. It should be 162, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 
40, 60, 1, 2. So that's 162. Next envelope is 112. And one thing about doing the envelopes the way that I do since I pick four, some of them be high. Y'all gonna see some high ones, y'all. And I was like, ooh, yeah. I had the scrimpers, <laughs> scrimpers crown <laughs> for that. I had to work it in my budget some kind of way. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 11, 12. So that's 112. Yeah, y'all gonna see some big numbers. I think what I might do this year is um, since I color coded them, which I also like the fact that I did that. I color coded them how the numbers went. Um, I think one through maybe one through twenty was one color, then twenty one through forty was one color, then forty one through and so on and so on. No, it had to be more than that because I think I have four colors. I have a blue. I have a pinkish purplish color. Um, that's the same color. I have a purple color. And what other color do I have? Oh, and I have an orange color. So I have four colors. So I co color coordinated them in four colors. So I think what I might do next year is have them separated by colors and pick one out from each color because child, you'll see I got envelopes for like 200 something dollars and I was like, ooh, child. Got a budget for that one. This one is 209. So I think that's how I'm gonna do it next year. So that's 100, 150, 200, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's 209. That's two 209s I had. All right, try to speed it up a little bit. This is 195. It's 50. Ooh, wait a minute, there's 100. Hold on, hold on. 100, 50, 70, 95. So that's 195. Next stack is 92. Yeah, I used to love the, the low numbers, but now I was like, okay, if I'm getting all these low numbers at one time, that means I'm going to have a lot of high numbers. <laughs> So that's 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1, 2. That's 92. That stack is 265. See what I mean? 265. Last year, I think my highest one was $321. I don't think I had one that was $300 this year, but last year, yeah, I had one that was. $321. I remember that. Y'all see, I remember that specifically. <laughs> so this should be $265. So that's 150, 200, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65. So that's 265. Let's see, this one I should have 142. It's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42. There's 142. Let me wave at some people. Hey, y'all. Hey. I'm sitting here counting my 100 uh, cash envelope challenge. That's 142. I did my other two last week. And like I said, I'm not... I'm not gonna um, count my change because it's not full yet. So I'm gonna leave my change in my change jar until it gets full and then I, I'll probably take it to one of those change machines or I may roll the change myself. Mm, we'll see how that go. So you do the envelopes numbered one through 100. Yes, Brenda. I number my envelopes one through 100 and then I mix them up and then I pick them out. So that's how you do the 100 envelope, cash envelope challenge. So this one I should have 163. If any of you have questions about the challenge, I can uh, I can see the comments 
to answer the questions. So that's 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 61, 62, 63. So that's 163. Did I put that up? Yeah, I did, did put down 142. Okay. Okay, thanks so much. I want to do it. Yes, Brenda, go ahead and do it this year. I like this challenge. I really do. But like I said, I think, oh, um, see, this one is a high one, 224. Like I said, I think I'm going to um, mix them up, cut. I'm in NC. Where are you at? Oh, okay. I'm near Raleigh. Hey, everyone. Hey. <laughs> I don't know why YouTube, when YouTube comments come up, they disappear. So you have to be quick with it. You have to hurry up and see when it's up. And then you got to hurry up and see when it reads. It like comes up and then goes off and then comes up and goes. I don't know why it does that. I haven't figured that out yet. But anywho, anywho, child, if anybody know, put it in the comments because I don't know. <laughs> So this should be 224. That's why I said I think I'm gonna um I think I'm gonna divide them up by colors so that way I'm choosing like a reasonable total amount. So then it, it's not like I'll choose four from the really high end of the numbers. Because like I said last year I had one that was $321 because I think I picked like 90. I think I picked like 290 somethings. And like 280 somethings or something like that. It was, I was like, ooh, child. that 321 was a struggle that, that time. I was trying to budget everything. <laughs> That's 50, 100, 50, uh, 150, 200, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So that was 224. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm probably starting to get the sniffles because I got this fan pumping. <laughs> oh, shoot. I forgot this uh, tell Siri to put me on Do Not Disturb. Lord, I hope don't nobody call. Because for some reason, when people call, it knocks you off of um, Instagram. Oh, can I say it now? I don't think so. Let me see. Hey, Siri. Nope, Siri don't feel like working. Okay. <laughs> so this total is 167 that's 167. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now, see, I can deal with a number like that. That's why I said I want to um, start doing them, picking them out by colors. So that way I'll probably get like an average number like this or maybe lower. So that's 167. So that's 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 65, 66, 67. Y'all see that? All right. That's 167. Uh-oh, we halfway through, y'all. Next one is 208. I'm going to try and speed up a little bit, y'all. So that's 100. I'm putting that. Can y'all see if I put them down? No, I put them like that on the pile. Mm -mm. I'll keep them in my hand there. <laughs> 100, 150, 200, 205. Six, seven, eight. So that's two hundred and eight dollars. So the next one is see so the high one, two hundred forty-five dollars. Two hundred forty-five dollars. That's fifty, one hundred, one fifty, two hundred, twenty, forty-five. That's two forty-five. Um Hey, from Florida. Okay, Florida. Okay, okay, okay. Got some Florida folks. Um, uh, Sunshine State. All right, this total is one seventy six. And let's take a look. See, fifty, one hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, seventy five, seventy six. Child, it's an old one. Ooh. Lord, it looked like when I was born or something. <laughs> oh, shoot. What was that number? 176. Okay. 176. All right. This one is 183. Oh, from Arizona. Hey, Eva. Nice. Are y'all having nice weather out there? I always picture Phoenix as just being hot and dry. <laughs> This is, should be 183, so that's 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 
183. For the fact, I started to move out to Arizona. Um, my company that I had worked for, that I got laid off from, because <laughs> I because our um, our location shut down, I actually did a new location in Arizona, in Tempe, Arizona. And I was considering moving out there, but then I was like, no, I'll be too far away from my family. Oh, I have to fly all the time. It's, ooh, it's average in the 60s. Oh, I like that weather. I like that weather, Eva. In the 60s? Yes. Did I already show y'all this? 143, 143. All right. So that's 100, 20, 40, 1, 2, 3. 143. And as y'all can see, I got a lot of 50s too. It's because sometimes I don't plan ahead and <laughs> and go to the bank when it's actually open. So I go to a drive through and I mean, uh, the ATM drive through and child, I found a bank that dispenses 50s. Hello. I love it. Um, Navy Federal dispenses uh, 50s. And shoot, what's the other one that dispenses 50s? Dang, I forgot. I have my, um, oh man, I forgot which other one dispenses 50s. But some ATMs are starting to dispense 50s now. So I love that. This one is a high one, 237. 237. And like I said, if you if y'all can't um, handle the high ones, do the 50 cash envelope challenge. You can do the 50 cash envelope challenge. So that would be just one envelope per week. Or if you want to buy weekly, that would be two envelopes per week. So this should be 237, so that's 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37. That's 237. Oh, shoot, yeah, I did. Um, and as y'all can see, y'all know, um, I know my YouTube buddies all know me well. They know that I save my $5 bills for my $5 um, challenge. And then I save my ones to keep as my tips. But when I do my savings challenges, that's the only time you will see me with fives and ones. So yeah, that's why you see the fives and ones in the um, savings challenge, because I have to use fives and ones, duh, of course, yes. <laughs> so this one should be 184. All right. And I have 50, 100. Lord, got some hair in here. Okay. <laughs> that fan is blowing. <laughs> 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's 184. I'm going to put that right there because I'm running out of room on that one. All right, this one should be 241. Y'all see that good? 241. So that's 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 41. 241. Uh oh, y'all, we in the home stretch. Look at that, we in the home stretch. <laughs> this one is 250. So I should have 250 in this envelope. That's 50, 100, 150. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 50, 100, 50, 170, 190. 210, 230, 250. <laughs> I hate counting 20s like that. <laughs> oh, Lord, I got to add it all up in my head like that. Okay, that's 250. All right, this one should be, look at that, 297. Y'all, I said I didn't get a $300 one, but this was close. Last year, my highest one was 321. This year, this one is my highest one, Two. 97. Child, that was a tight budget. 
That was a tight budget on that one. All right, let's see. 50, 100. Can y'all see this good? I'm trying to get, let me see. Let me see if I can get Instagram in a little bit better. I don't know. Is that a little bit better, Instagram? Okay. Because I'm trying to make sure you two can see it too. Okay, 50, 100, 150. Here we go again. Count these 20s. Oh, child. Okay, 50, 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 295, 296, 297. <laughs> oh, Lord, I hate cutting them 20s like that with a 50. I have to thank y'all. All right. Last two. We in the home stretch. All right, so this one is 251. That's 251 in this one. This one should have 251. So that's 50, 100, 150. Here we go again. Oh, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 251. All right. Last one. So this should have 226 in it. All right. So this is 50, 100, 150, 200, 20, 25, 26. Oh my God, y'all. I did it. No mistakes this time. Oh my God. I'm so happy. No mistakes this time. No mistakes. No mistakes. We're gonna count. We're gonna count this money. But let me show you how I do my envelope. So I just put them in like this. And then I kind of shuffle them up. Just shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. So they don't be the same like last year or whatever. I shuffle them up. And even though I got the totals already on the back of the envelopes, I'll just pick an envelope that doesn't already have a total on the back, or I'll just cross it out. Because I'm going to recycle these bad boys. I'm on a budget. I am balling on a budget, y'all. So y'all can have y'all little fancy cash boxes. I, now look, um, YouTube, my YouTube buddies and my budgeting community, don't get me wrong. I love y'all little cute boxes and y'all little fancy envelopes and things like that. But child, I'm straight up Dollar Tree. <laughs> I am straight up Dollar Tree. I got the box from Dollar Tree. And I think I got the envelopes from Dollar Tree, too. I might have got them from Walmart. But, yeah, so like I said, you just number them. You, oop, you put a number on each envelope to make sure that you have envelopes numbered from 1 to 100. It's that simple. It's that easy. No need to make this harder than what it is. You just take some. And you can use short envelopes. I just like the long envelopes so I don't have to fold my money. Um... And that's all you do. But you see how I have the colors on? I don't think I'm going to um, pick them by colors next time. Pick one from each color. But that's it. You just number one through 100. If you're doing the 50 cash envelope challenge, you just um, number them um, one through 50. That's it. That's it and that's all. All right. So I'm going to put these back in my little box to start off for... 2022 i will be doing this challenge again and y'all ready to separate and count this money i couldn't just i could just add it up and tell y'all that it adds up to the um to the amount but would that be fun would y'all do y'all want to see me count the money actually count the money or would y'all just see me rather just calculate the money up y'all let me know in the comments somebody drop something down in the comments and let me know if y'all want to want me to count the money or if you want me to just calculate the numbers that i wrote down what y'all think? What y'all think I should do? I'm going to separate the money anyway. So while I'm separating the money, y'all drop down in the comments if y'all want to see me um, count the money or should I just add everything up on the calculator? So y'all drop some, um, y'all drop a comment below and let me know what y'all want me to do. Y'all want to see me count? Calculate the numbers? Okay, I got something for calculate the numbers. Anybody else? 
Y'all just want me to calculate the numbers or y'all want me to count the money? I'm going to separate it either way, though, because I need to um, separate it from when I take it to the bank. I like being um, coordinated for the bank tellers. <laughs> Make it easier on them. 20s, 15s. What y'all think? I see Gloria has said, calculate the numbers. Hey, I tried the challenge and had an emergency. Oh, that's okay. Count the money. <laughs> count the money, Tanya. Count the money. <laughs> emergency. Um, that's, that's okay. Like I said, any saving, you know, things come up. So any savings that you can save is fine. Even if you only save for, um, four envelopes, that's still fine. It, it what up? Like I said uh, last week when I was doing my savings challenges, um, whatever savings you can save is fine. So that's why I was saying that the seven days a week challenge will be a great challenge to do if you need to save up a thousand. Save up $1,000 for your emergency fund because everybody should have at least $1,000 in their emergency fund because you just never know what may happen. And, you know, things happen. Y'all know that um, two years ago, I had an emergency where I had to, I had to fly home. Then I had to fly my boys home because it was last minute. I have a son that lives in Atlanta and I have a son that lives in um, Maryland. And I was in Maryland at the time. And we all had to fly home because my uncle had passed away from the pandemic. I can't, I don't think I can say the C word on one, one of these platforms. You, you can't say the C word or they may not monetize you or may do something to you. I don't know. But y'all know what I'm trying to say, y'all. My uncle passed away and um, my uncle is more like my brother. And he was more like my children's uncles. Well, I mean, he is their uncle, but y'all know what I'm saying. Um, wait a minute, is that 100 up in there? Lord, show this. Y'all about to put 100 in my 20s. Okay. Um, but yeah, he passed away, you know, due to what's going on in the world right now. And um, I had to get the three of us in to North Carolina. So, you know, that was... A pretty penny but thank god i have been if y'all watch me on youtube y'all know that i have a um mini emergency i have uh i have a mini emergency fund i have a extra cash fund and then i have my emergency fund that i have in the bank when i do my um when y'all see me do my cash envelopes and my um my sinking funds Y'all see that I have the mini emergency fund and the extra envelope. So I had to use all my money in my mini emergency fund and all my money in my um, my extra cash fund, which was a blessing because I did not have to go into my bank account and get any money from my regular emergency fund. But, you know, things happen. Things are always going to come up. You just never know what may come up when you may need the money. You never, you never know if, um, shoot, if even you have job security, because I thought I had job security. I work for the largest HR company in the world. I'm talking about the world, not just the United States, y'all. I'm talking about in the world. And we got laid off because they were laying off. They were closing their smaller locations. And unfortunately, I was in one of those smaller locations. And you just never know, you know, when you're making all that money, um, uh, unemployment is not going to help. It helped this time only because of what was going on in the country and they was given the extra money for unemployment. But just imagine if they weren't given the extra money from unemployment. Can you imagine going from getting paid like five to $6,000 a month take home to now getting unemployment where I think the highest unemployment, Maryland's highest unemployment was like $400 a week. What's that? Sixteen hundred dollars a month. That's not even two thousand dollars a month. What am I gonna pay with that? I can't even pay half my bills with that. Shoot, right now I can't even pay my mortgage with that. My mortgage is fifteen hundred dollars. So you have to be prepared. So when you get laid off, you want to have at least three to four, three to six months worth of your um, amount that you spend in bills saved up. 
So it won't hurt as bad until you find another job because child, it took me forever to find another job because of what was going on in the world. Nobody was hiring right now. They were sending all their employees home. They didn't know what they was going to do. They didn't know what was going on. So everybody was um, at a hiring freeze. Whew. All right, y'all. Finally, finally, finally finished counting the money. I mean, separating the money. So let's see what I have. Does it really add up? to the $5,050. Are y'all ready? I'm at, oh shoot, Instagram, y'all can't even see the money, Lord. Let me see. That's not mm -mm -mm. Okay, that might be a little bit. Okay, y'all can see a little bit of the money. Let me back it up just a tad. All right, Facebook, you're good, and YouTube, I know you can see most of the money. Okay, so I'm gonna count the, one, the hundreds first. So I have one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine hundred dollars in one hundred. So I'm gonna write that down somewhere just so I know. Um so I have nine in one hundred dollar bills. So let's see how many fifties I have. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three. So I have 43 50s. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, two thousand, one hundred fifty. So I have fifty. So I have forty-three fifty-dollar bills that add up to two thousand one hundred fifty dollars. All right. Now let's count these twenties. I got a stack of twenties. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty, forty one, forty two. 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. So I have $84, $20 bills. So I'm just going to count it. to add it Because y'all know, YouTube, y'all know. Y'all know how I do. <laughs> Sometimes uh, some get stuck behind another dollar bill or $20 bill or whatever. So this is what I'm going to do. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1000. 
60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 720 dollars. So that came out to be $720. So that was $1,720 that I had in 20s. Now let's count these 10s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I have 15 10s in 10s. So 10, 20, 30, 40. Ooh, oh, shoot. Oh, man. See? Y'all see what I mean? Y'all see how I do? I had a 20 up in the 10s. Lord have mercy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Still got 15. Oh, okay. Must have been stuck behind there. Okay. So now I got to put the 20 in the 20 pile. So now I have. 85 20s, which should be $1,740. That's a four. Okay, let's put that in that pile. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That should be 150. I just like to double count because y'all know you too. Y'all know how I do. <laughs> y'all know how I do with counting. Let's see if anybody said something. Okay. So one, two, ooh, we'll count the fives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So I have sixteen fives, which should be five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five. 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. Should be $80. Now, last but not least, the ones. Oh, Lord, I already see the mess to look. Got a five in my ones. We're going to just put that to the side for right now. Look through. Okay. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. So I have $51 in ones. Okay, so this five needs to go on here. So that means I have 17 fives. So that means I have $85. Okay. All right, y'all. So let's see. Does all of that add up to $5,050? All right. That nice little pile. <laughs> and put a rubber band around this. I'll probably keep my ones and fives before I take it to the bank and only de and deposit the rest. Keep my fives to go ahead and start my five dollar savings challenge for the year. Keep my ones for the tips. All right, so we should have we have nine hundred and one hundred dollar bills. So that's nine hundred dollars. We should have two thousand one fifty. In 50s, 2150. And then next we should have 85 $20 bills, which added up to 1740 plus 1740 And then we have 15 in tens, which added up to $150. And then we have 17 $5 bills, which added up to $85. And then we have 51 ones.
Okay. <laughs> yeah, I do. I got $5,076, y'all. 5076 dollars how do that how well at least i'm not short at least i'm not short with the money but i don't know how i got more what's that 26 dollars more because she'll have five thousand fifty dollars that's 26 dollars more so did i count an extra five an extra one Y'all know I messed up on my fives because a five dollar bill was in my pile of ones. I also messed up on a 20 because my $20 bill, I believe, was in a pile of um tens of fives. Let me just add this up again real quick because y'all know how I do. So that's 900 plus you know what? Let me do 43 times 50 equals okay i said it was right that was 2150 so that was right and then 85 20s is 1700 oh 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 i get that wrong okay lord my math was not mathing that's what it was my math wasn't mathing, y'all. 85 times 20. Yep, 1,700. Okay. Might have found the culprit now. Um, uh -huh, that's right. Oh, let me put that all. And then 17 times 9 is 85. Okay, I got that right. And then 51. Okay, so let's try this again, y'all. Okay, so that is... 2150 in 50s plus 900 in 100s plus 1700 in 20s plus 100 $150 in 10s plus $85 in 5s plus $51 in ones. Ah, <laughs> now I'm short. <laughs> $5,036. So first I was $5,076. Now I'm $5,036. Oh, $5,050. Minus five thousand thirty-six. So now I'm short fourteen dollars. What am I watching? <laughs> you watching me count some money? You watching me counting my savings challenge? That was on the title. I'm counting my one hundred cash envelope challenge. I started the fifty envelope in October. Going to do the one hundred envelope challenge for twenty twenty two. All right, Eva, that's good. Child, I'm not gonna count this again. Should I count this again? This is crazy. First I was over. Now I'm under, I'm short $14. First I was over $26. Now I'm short $14. I told you, y'all know how I do. Mm -hmm. 17, 900, 150, 85, 51. Now I totally did something wrong because that's 3,300. <laughs> All right. 900 plus 2150 plus 1700 plus 150 plus 85 plus 51. 5036. I'm short $14 somewhere and I don't know how. But hey, my numbers all added up though from what I put in the envelope, unless I totaled my envelopes wrong. 
And in that case, then, okay. But yeah, like I said, I ain't mad at it. So again, this year, <laughs> I am short $14. This is better than last year because last year I was short, I think about 30 something dollars, maybe $40. But I think I had left two 20s out somewhere. But hey, like I said, I ain't mad at it. I saved $5,000, y'all. So I ain't mad. Let me lift y'all back up, Instagram. I saved, I saved $5,000. So I'm not mad at it. It is what it is. And I'm going to make it do what it do. It's going to be saved for something. Let me see if I can lift YouTube back up. All right, YouTube, work with me, work with me. All right, so I got YouTube back up. So, like I said, savings is savings. So, I'm not mad. Hey, Merry Christmas, Tara. I hope everybody had a happy holiday. So, I'm not mad. I have $5,036 that I'm depositing. So, no, I'm not going to deposit all that to the bank in the bank. Because, like I said, I'm going to keep my ones and I'm going to keep my fives. To start back off on my $5 savings challenge and keep my ones for my tips. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, so if you want to get more savings challenges, um, watch my YouTube channel, y'all. I haven't decided if I'm going to add a new savings challenge for 2022. Um, if y'all do drop down in the comments, what savings challenges y'all going to do? And I have held y'all up long enough. <laughs> so I will see y'all next time. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm short $14. But I am still good. I am still blessed. I am still happy. I have saved. So I have the $5,000 in my 100 cash envelope challenge. I have the uh, $1,436 in my seven days a week challenge. And I got $705 from my $5 savings challenge. So... I did good, y'all. What's, what's that? Um, we're going to just say, we're going to round it. Say 5,000 plus 700 plus 1,400. That's $7,100, y'all, that I saved. Just in my savings challenge. So that's not um, counting like, you know, what I have going directly into my savings account from my check and all that kind of stuff. So thank you for sharing. Wishing you a blessed 22. Thank you, Evo. Same to you. So, yeah. I think I did good. That was three savings challenges that I did where I saved $7,100. If y'all want to see what savings challenges I'm doing next year, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am Tanya Gemini on YouTube. Recount, count again. I know y'all, y'all know how I do. Wow, that's awesome. Imagine if you double the amount next time. Child, I don't know about doubling. <laughs> y'all know how I do, my, uh, my budgetistas out there. Y'all know I am, um, you know, kind of sketchy with the camera. <laughs> Send me a YouTube. Um, help me do mine this year. Okay, cool. Y'all can check out all my budget and stuff on YouTube. I'm Tanya Gemini on YouTube. Please subscribe. Please like and, like and comment on my videos. Um, I have a playlist. And on my playlist, I have the exact savings challenges that I did this year. And I explain them in full detail. So if you want to know about the seven days a week challenge, if you want to know about the 100 cash envelope challenge, um, the $5 challenge, I explain them on in detail on my YouTube channel. So guys, thank you for watching. I will see y'all next time. Follow me on Instagram. I'm Tanya Gemini one. Get at me tomorrow. I says, okay, I will. Um, so I will see y'all next time. Thank you for watching. Hope y'all have a very happy new year. Nothing but blessings all 2022. We're going to save. We're going to get out of debt. We're going to start these businesses. We're going to make this money, y'all. So let's get to it. Biden signed off on a $1.2 trillion, not billion, trillion dollar deal that is sending funds out to states for infrastructure, for um, just all kinds of stuff. So y'all, this is the best time to get in business. If y'all need help with your LLC or anything like that, reach out to me. I help. I can help you create your LLC. I can um, help.
help you get started with your business funding, business credit. I can help you get business credit even if you have bad personal credit, just using your EIN only. So get with me. My link is in my bio on Facebook and my link is in my bio on Instagram or just DM me. Just let me know. Y'all, we got to get to this money in 2022. We have goals. It's time to set your goals. It's time to make a plan to reach those goals. You know, it's the end of the year, so we need to get focused for 2022. Go ahead and write your goals down. Go ahead and make your plan for your goals so you can make it all happen. So I will see y'all guys next time. Thank you for watching. By Instagram. By Facebook. And by YouTube. Y'all, thank y'all for watching.